Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Actually, starting a horde house here. The owner? Yeah, she, elderly lady, she just went into the home and took care of the animals, and that's when they discovered that the house was in the condition that it is. Oh my god, what a large man. I think the spider's been living off the roaches. Right? Oh god. Oh god. That's Hi everybody. Hi. We are actually here in Lakeland. We're actually starting a horde house here. Mostly confined to the living room and kitchen. A little bit of animal excrements and stuff, uh, but we're gonna get started. Yeah, that, she's got in the refrigerator in the garage, which I'm gonna have to. Give we're gonna empty this out. And bring another one? Yeah, go ahead, I will throw everything away. I say it all goes for safety. I think so too, because if you've got bugs, they yep. go on stuff. And yep. I don't know what they've done on it. So what's the story here? She is uh, in the hospital right now, the owner? Yeah, she, elderly lady, um, she lived here by herself. The neighbor kind of helps out from time to time, but they've never been in the house. Uh, she just went into the hospital. Uh, she has indoor animals, uh, so the neighbor came and took care of the animals, and that's when they discovered that the house uh, was in the condition that it is. Uh, graciously enough, though, they're actually taking care of the uh, the house, uh, the woman is actually due back to be here in her home, uh, possibly the end of next week. So we're going to remove the, obviously the majority of the things, the obvious contaminants, and uh, hopefully give her a lovable home again. Munching on some poo poo. guys want to grab another trash bag and start getting all that? No, no, we're going to keep the couch. I can't throw away the couch. Everything in the couch though can go. <laughs> I'm coming in with some magazines. Open that bag up real quick, please. Literally just shit everywhere that I can. Spider slacking in this house. I kid you not, that thing's 300 pounds. It's a solid yeah. piece of stone. Ain't no spiders lacking here. Oh, 
You guys doing a full deep clean too, or just yep. the trash? Yep. Uh, Monday will be the full deep clean. Today we're just gonna get the bolt. Oh my. Oh no. I think the spider's been living off the roaches. Right? They're all like cocooned and got their guts sucked out. <laughs> Fucking metal, man. Spiders are so metal. Every time I have like a bead of sweat drop down my back, I'm like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. The shit smell got worse. It's this bag. Oh, what's in it? I have no idea. Hi, everybody. Currently in the kitchen. Working our way through as you see we got all the living room completed. Lots of stuff in the kitchen. How long we've been working so far? Oh, we've been at this for about an hour, 45 minutes, a couple hours. A lot of this stuff we're finding that we have to sort through a lot of it because obviously we're trying to help the lady out and keep as much as possible, but also sort through the stuff that's obvious trash. So unfortunately it's not one of those ones where you can just go in and clean everything and go. We're actually having to sort through all the boxes. So, I mean, a little more tedious on this one, but uh, she's actually still got a lot of nice things that we can keep and clean for her. So we'll, we'll get to it. Oh, God, kids don't get old. 
today's lesson on how to do a hoard. Don't, Don't age. age. Stay in your mid twenties. Actually go to the gym unlike me. Just stay there. Just like don't get older. Come on guys. Yeah. I mean otherwise get down to the ground. Back up. Then you need canes. Don't eat two year old crackers. <laughs> Number two on spotting decon. Gotta not age. Throw away the three year old vegetable oil. Oh, uh, yeah, this is nothing. This is like... This is disappointing. Yeah. That's one way to do it. I wanted to get everything out of the fridge quickly. Thankfully, it's all in one piece. Fiona would stop at this fridge. Almond anything? Breeze. Like from 2019. Use an almond breeze right Non-GMO. I bet it's non-everything at this point. Baby, why that song popped in my head? No idea. Yeah, you don't even have kids. I know. No, but I have a baby niece and a baby nephew, so it's programmed. All right, that was slimy. I'm not quite sure what that was. Survey. Eighteen. Nothing in there. No. Ooh, what's going on with you? What's going on? Who's that? She likes that natty light. The natty ice. Oh, that's okay. disappointing. Damn. Can't get any gross no, fridge no. these it's days. No, like no, has been like a level three. What is that? Oh, that's a... That's good. Which, what was the first thing each of you thought when you walked in the house? The very first thing that came to my mind. Was your mind. not expecting it based on the look of the outside of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> shocked when you first walked in. I was like, is this for real? Or is oh, I'm just still thinking I'm watching TV. Uh, <laughs> it says one thing on paper. It says one thing on television. But when you walk in, you're like, oh. Yeah. All right. This is real. All right. We got this room swept up. Let's uh. You guys want to break for lunch real quick? Have a bite to eat real quick? Relax, drink some water, and then we'll start into the room. Uh -huh. Let's do it. This is crazy, man. What was that? What? I don't know. It was just a bag, but it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> like, scared shit out of me. Hiya! Ain't this karate. <laughs> Gotta start using them throwing knives. Keep this, not keep this one. Yep, keep it. You know, are they gonna try to keep all the tapes? Or yep. Donate? No? No keeping. Oh boy. Yep. Oh no. More diapers. More diapers under there? Oh snap, got myself a rolly. <laughs> Not either. But, you know. Is that Indiana Jones? Yes, it is. Oh, Lord. Alive. And it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Toasted. Toasted. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Have a lunch. No, they're pretty sturdy. Yeah, they're like, they're probably like fossilized. 
little pillars. There you have it, folks. More stuff. And I thought grabbing under the edge was going to be a knob. Oh, wow. They're big. They're big. Let's try to get the big stuff from behind here, there, in that nightstand, and then I can come in here with the HEPA vac and just vacuum the floor. Although, is this carpet going to come out? Nope. Really? Nope. We're just taking the material. Crawlers! Hiya! Scour! Scour! Land and ship! Do the twist and shout! No? Okay. I don't think that's how it goes. <laughs> Take it on, baby, now. Take it on, baby. The twist and shout! Twist and shout. Come a little closer, baby. Yeah, it's close enough. You don't want to get the exact lyrics right, because then we'll get sued by the Beatles record company. True. The lady that we're talking to is not the homeowner. Yeah, I know. She's the neighbor. The friend is afraid to uh, get rid of stuff. That, get rid of the stuff. Yeah. Because this could have sentimental value, and we have no idea. So we're trying to make our best judgment when we go through these rooms. So that's why we're not going to touch the front one. But we got the back one out. Essentially, she's got a much healthier living space. Granted, I understand it's still not deep cleaned yet, but compared to what we started, it's a much better living environment for when she does come back. Good boy. Where's it from? Printing press. You know when? 1987. Oh, not close enough. That was a good year. That newspaper smells good like year. Reagan. <laughs> good year. Just turning one. Just starting to get the feel for my sea legs. <laughs> If it looks like junk, it throw it away. If it's Shelby, there's that little room right there. Uh -huh. All the food that's on the shelf, go ahead and throw that away. Anything else that looks like it's junk, most of that stuff in that room probably isn't going, but there is some food in there as well. Okay. Go ahead and grab a uh, trash bag then. We're just trying to do a walkthrough of each room that we did. Okay. Anything large that you think we might miss? Want some Nutella? <laughs> uh, in this house, I'm not sure that's Nutella. <laughs> For dentures? Oh god. Oh god. That's nasty. Are we keeping these? No. Oh thank god. What is that? Dentures. Oh. Yeah, I said the same thing. First hoard down. Good. Satisfied. My name is Bennett. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for the best shower you've ever taken? Yeah, cold one. Definitely. So Eric, how did today go? Today was good. We got a good day in. New crew got them acclimated to a 
a nice hoard. We got a lot of the stuff taken off the floor. We got a much healthier living environment now for uh, the lady to return home. So we're sure she'll be excited to have a space that she can actually come home again. The next step's the deep clean. Next step, the deep clean. Stay tuned on Monday. Until okay. next time. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.